Hi, thank you for joining us today. My name is Brooke Robinson, and today I'm here with Brad Andrews. Hey, yeah. To talk about Keyforge a little bit. Wait, I thought we were having a pancake breakfast. Yes, I lied. But I brought my syrup and everything. Too bad. Is there anything that you would like to admit before we begin? Nothing I'd like to admit. Scale of one to 10, how painful are the puns in this set? 11. Are there any references we should be on the lookout for? Yes, definitely. If all the factions were to fight at once, battle royale style, who would win? Probably the Fuzzy Gruen. How has the world of the Crucible changed between Call of the Archons and Age of Ascension? I wouldn't say it's so much changed as we're getting a wider view into the Crucible as a whole. Is there a clear divide between Call of the Archons and Age of Ascension? Yeah, this one's blue. With the new card pool and new possibility of legacy cards, how many decks are possible? More than I can count. Name one thing more difficult than working with the algorithm. Working with Brooke. That hurt. <laughs> what percentage of games do you win? Uh, very, very few. Um, five. If you could describe yourself in three halves, what would they be? Half man, half sports car, half giraffe. Aside from the obvious choice, which Keyforge character would you cosplay as? Probably the Snuffle Gator? Quixo is a cyborg. Does he ever sleep? Uh, half of him at a time. Do you ever sleep? No. Does Quixo dream of electric grumpuses? Yes. What is your favorite creature? Probably a bird. Why is the owl named Archimedes? Uh, from Disney's The Sword and the Stone. Do any other designers appear in this set? Not set two. What do you think players will enjoy the most about this new set of Keyforge? I think getting to rediscover all the houses they know and love and see the small but impactful changes we've made to their play patterns. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. Are you actually just two Martians in a trench coat? No. Why did you decide on seven houses for the first set of Keyforge? Mathematically, it means that most times when you sit down to play with someone, you'll be playing against a deck that has at least one of the houses that is in your deck. What is your favorite combination of houses to have in a deck? Probably Logos, Dees, Brabnar. On a scale of one to 10, how dangerous is an untamed Grumpus? Let's go again with 11. What is the plural version of Grumpus? Yes. What was the biggest design challenge of Age of Ascension? Probably taking houses that everyone knew and loved and finding ways to make them different and special. Are you still as passionate about this game as you were two years ago? I'm more passionate now. How has the response compared to your imagination? Going into the game, it being such a different concept, we didn't know what to expect. So seeing such a positive response has been beyond my wildest dreams. Is there anything you would change looking back? I'm really proud of the work we did. I, I think it stands on its own. I don't think there's any need for change. Do people ever come up to you at events and suggest new houses or characters? All the time, all the time. People love to talk about that. What's the best fan suggestion you've ever heard? Talking chairs. What's the best deck name you've ever heard? Early on, I found a deck that was called Sea Turtle, the Explorer of the Aquarium. What is your favorite deck? Uh, I have one that has four Quixo the Adventurers in it. It's not very good, but I love playing it. Are you excited for Age of Ascension? I'm so excited. Brad, thank you for joining me today. And thank all of you for tuning in. I hope that you got some answers to your most burning, important questions. And yeah, we will see you next time. I'm gonna go find some pancakes.